So earlier today, we got another Bronny James NBA draft update and how it connects to the Phoenix Suns. It is the year 2024, and I am talking on this channel about Bronny James and LeBron James possibly joining the Phoenix Suns. I'm at a loss for words, y'all. It's crazy. So let's just dive right into it, you guys. Here is what Sham Sharania from The Athletic said earlier today on Run It Back TV. Yeah, Brian James has over 10 workout invites uh, during the pre-draft process, but I'm told he's only going to visit a couple of those, and that's going to include the Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. The Suns have the number 22 overall pick in the draft. He's under consideration there among, obviously, a lot of players at, at 22, but it's going to come down to the development plan. It's going to come down to guaranteed money, uh, whether it's late in the first round, in the second round. But the fact that there's only going to be a couple teams, two, three teams that Bronny James visits and the Lakers and Suns, interestingly, are among the two teams. And let's be real, you guys. I still have the same thoughts and reaction as I did in my last Bronny James video and live stream that I did. Link down below in the description. Make sure to go check those out. And it is pretty cool that Bronny James is only working out for the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers. As a Suns fan, that's kind of flattering in a way. But with all of that being said... That does not mean that Bronny James is the only target that the Phoenix Suns are looking at. I'm confident that they're probably working out like 30 guys, if not more. That's just how the whole draft process works. And again, if somehow the Phoenix Suns drafted Bronny James, that doesn't necessarily mean that LeBron James is coming to Phoenix. And speaking of drafting Bronny James, by the way, so something I completely forgot about, and I saw that Sam Cooper of the Timeline podcast was quote tweeted about this. He was quote tweeted by at Inside the Sun on Twitter saying, interesting to note, per Bobby Marks of ESPN, the Pelicans have until June 1st to decide if they want to keep LA's number 17 pick or defer the pick to 2025. And that does make a lot of sense, actually, especially since this draft class is a weaker draft class. We're going to have to see what happens with that. And that's sort of what I've been talking about in my last couple of videos and live shows is like, what if Bronny James is off of the board by the time pick number 17 for the Lakers rolls around or even pick 22 for the Phoenix Suns rolls around? Like, what do the Suns do then? I, I, I don't know. And this next tweet that I'm going to react to, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know if this guy has sources or not. I can't confirm or deny if he has sources or not. But D. Coldest on Twitter tweeted this out. It's sort of a long read, so bear with me here. D. Coldest writes, The conversation is obviously about LeBron right now, as it should be. From my conversations, the Lakers still have the upper hand. This is a very real thing, though, and has been in the works for a bit. Clutch believes Bronny would strive in a situation where he's being mentored by the likes of Booker, Durant, Beal, and his father. LeBron obviously doesn't need the max contract, but it's definitely a factor in this decision. Does he leave 50 plus million on the table so he can play with his son? And take this next tweet as you will, but my friend Flex from Jersey from PHNX does have sources, and he simply tweeted this out earlier, so take that as you will. And also, somebody out there is messing and trolling with Phoenix Suns fans because on the website LeBron.com, they put up a clock that is ticking down to Sunday, June 30th, which is hours after you know the NBA free agency starts and negotiations can begin and all that. You guys can see it right here. It's on LeBron.com, which is not his official website because LeBron's real website is LeBronJames.com. Somebody is just messing and trolling with Phoenix Suns fans. Not going to lie to you, though. It's pretty funny. So, yeah. <laughs> so, well done to whoever that person was who did that. I mean, you got people talking about it online. You got websites writing about it. So well done. So do me a huge favor, you guys, and get active in the comments section. Did I miss anything on the Sprawny James stuff? Let me know your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And do me another huge favor, you guys, and make sure to Hulk smash that like button. Please subscribe, share this video, tell people about Suns Geek, because if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Win or lose Phoenix Suns for life. And I'll see you guys next time. Go Suns. And you know what that means. LeBron James is coming to the Phoenix Suns.